So what we're going to report on today, Thorpe Park Resort have announced their opening dates and times for the 2020 season. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chad Dogs to Bob, Bob Bill for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update from the Thorpe Park Resort. We've got two Thorpe Park News updates today. Um, we've also got a news update coming up in the rest of the week. Uh, we've got a couple of news updates coming up in the rest of the week actually. We've got some from Sark and Yemi and Skyline Attractions. Those videos will be coming on uh, on Monday and Tuesday respectively. Um, now, I, to be fair, I was going to stroll to get a video out today because I'm just absolutely knackered. I was at NXT UK live in Hull last night. It was brilliant. Uh, great action. Good three and a half hour show. Getting back at midnight again. Um, not exactly three o'clock like London a few days ago, but, uh, you know, I go travelling. I do these things, so I do it because I love it. Um, but, yes, I'm back. We've got a couple of Thought Park news updates today just to get back into the swing of things. And then we've got some more updates coming over the next few days. Don't forget, guys, IAPA starts this week as well. So I can't wait for that to get kicked in and that whole event to get underway and get some announcements in from that. Obviously, I might do separate news updates from the announcements at IAPA like I did last year with the, the Coma concepts and, you know, different things like that. And then do an overall video announcing all the stuff from IAPA, get some pictures from the, the train reveals uh, for the sort of the coasters coming next year. Um... So I think IAP is going to be a really big event this year uh, to promote everything that's coming to the parks next year and beyond that. So let's get on with this news update then from Thought Park Resort. Now the other new Thought Park news update coming later today will be on the 2020 season pass. Uh, now we did this last year. Uh, we did this video last year actually. Last year we released the season pass video before the opening dates and times video. Um, now we've decided to sort of flip it around this year. They both came out pretty much the same time uh, and it was all over social media and stuff like that, and their opening times and stuff like that. So uh, I decided to flip it this year. So the season pass one, that will be coming uh, later on. So stay tuned for that video. And we're gonna start with the opening dates and times video for 2020. Like I said, we, both, we did both these videos last year. Um, and I sort of gave you my thoughts on the opening dates and times and the season pass and the prices and the perks of the season pass and the premium season pass uh, for, the, for the 2019 season. Now we're going to do it all over again for next season. So let's have a look then at some dates and times. So I'm going to put a very nice picture of a classic Thought Park coaster on your screen right now. Fandami Dorsey. Comment down below if you know what it is. I'm not going to say it just in case no one doesn't know. Um, but let's go with some dates and times. So there's no now, of course, big, big, uh, important thing to notice about this is it can be scheduled to change throughout the season. You know, you never know; they might reduce some hours on days depending on weather conditions, uh, popularity on the day, uh, crowd levels, uh, guest levels, things like that. So things can change throughout the season. Uh, but this was mentioned on the website in terms of what we know about the date so far. So there's no ten till four p.m. Uh, opening times, so uh, very interesting there. It's all 10 till 5 or all 10 till 6. I am going to be doing a separate video uh, for the Fright Nights dates. That's 10 till 8 and 10 till 10 because uh, there are mixed dates for them. So uh, there will be a separate video on the Halloween updates playlist for Thought Park Fright Nights. Same with Chessington World of Adventures Resort and Alton Towers. I'll be doing separate videos uh, when they release the times for Scarefest and Chessington Halloween. Uh, stay tuned for videos from them when they get released. I think the Halloween dates have been revealed already, so I might get, do a video on that uh, and release it at some point this week, so stay tuned for that. Obviously, Universal Orlando released their Halloween Horror Nights dates next year, so I'll be doing a video on that this week. Uh, but let's get into the dates and times throughout the main season at Thought Park Resort next year. So, your 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. dates. I'll put the website link in the description down below as well, so you can go check it out. But 10 till 5 dates are March 27th and March 29th, April 2nd and April 3rd, April 27th all the way to April 30th, May 1st, May 3rd, May 4th, May 7th, May 10th, May 11th, May 14th, May 15th, May 17th, May 18th, May 21st, May 22nd, June 1st, all the way to June 5th, June 7th, 
June 8th all the way to June 12th, June 14th, June 15th all the way to June 19th, June 21st, June 22nd all the way to June 26th, the 28th, my birthday, all the way to June 30th, July 1st to July 3rd, July 5th to July 10th, July 12th to July 17th, July 19th, September 7th, all the way to September 11th, um, September 13th, September 14th, September 17th, September 18th, September 20th, September 21st, September 24th, September 25th, September 27th, October 1st and October 2nd. So those dates open from 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. Again, subject to change throughout the season. 10 till 6. Now, there are less dates on this one, but these are the 10 till 6. This is open an extra hour after the 10 till 5 dates. So those 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. dates are March 28th, April 4th, all the way to April 26th, May 2nd, May 8th, May 9th, May 16th, May 23rd, all the way to the May 31st, June 6th, um, June 13th, June 20th, June 27th, July 4th, Independence Day in America, July 11th, July 18th, July 20th, all the way to July 31st, August 1st all the way to 31st of August so that's a full month from 10 till 6 September 1st all the way to September 6th September 12th September 19th and September 26th so that my friends is your opening dates and times for Thought Park Resort in the 2020 season in the main season like I said there'll be a separate video on the Fright Nights dates and times very good um, March 27th start, uh, the main season finishing on October 7th, uh, 2nd, uh, give me words mixed there, uh, and then Fright Night starts, uh, just to give you a bit of a teaser for that video, Fright Nights actually runs until November 1st, so 1st November will be the final day of the 2020 season, just for your information, because that's a Fright Nights date, there'll be more in that video, uh, but very happy about the dates and times, very good running times, now you'll notice throughout that, there are some dates mixed out. That is because uh, those who, that aren't 10 till 4, there was no 10 till 4 dates, but those that weren't 10 till 5, 10 till 6, or Fright Nights dates, that's like 10 till 8 or 10 till 10, the rest of those days that have missed out, they're all closed days, because of course the park is closed on off-peak days sometimes. So uh, there are some dates where the park will be closed uh, on the off-peak days. However, I don't think that should be too much of a problem. Um, I know a lot of people worry that the park won't open 24-7 or just open on most days throughout the main season. But it, it's just one of those things, isn't it? You just got to open on the best days, really. Uh, so it should be interesting to uh, sort of uh, see if that's scheduled to change throughout the season or not. Uh, it should be interesting to find out whether uh, some days will become 10 till 4. Maybe if it's the crowd levels are too uh, small and they're like, well, there's no point keeping it open an extra hour let's just you know close it a little hour earlier which might be sad to coaster enthusiasts but it's one of those kind of business things you know you've got to think well i'd rather close it an hour earlier than wait another hour for maybe two people if it's on one of those low crowd level days uh so i think it's a very respectful and reliable decision really uh so I'm, i don't feel too bad about those closed off peak days um Obviously, towards the summer months, it's going to get popular. There's going to be no closed days over the summer months. Uh, it's going to be very enjoyable, of course. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be going to Thought Park next year. I'm not too sure yet. Uh, obviously, Jungle Escape's coming back, and that's an attraction I really wanted to do last year. Uh, well, this year, technically. Uh, but, you know, I don't know. It's just one of those things where you just got to sort of bide your time. Obviously... Blackpool Pleasure Beach, that's become suddenly an urgent trip of mine next year just in case, you know, Sky Force goes at the end of the year if the license ship runs out or, you know, Valhalla will get refurbished and of course this is 20th year next year so maybe the maybe next year will be the, uh, the last year of the refurbished Valhalla and they're going to sort of maintain it and reimagine it again. I know 
Um, loads of people watched that update on Valhalla possibly being SBNO for the 2020 season. A lot of people seem to think it won't. A lot of people seem to think it'll be 2021. So, uh, again, it's one of those things you've got to keep an eye on. Obviously, Flamingland's going to be a big trip next year, hopefully, if it goes through uh, with their 10 looping coaster. Poulton's Park down south, one of the... I know I've been to London, which is quite some far away, but down south is going to be one of the biggest trips uh, in terms of journey, uh, if that all goes through as well. Of course, that's for the opening day of Tornado Springs, or if there's any uh, media days beforehand, who knows? Uh, I mean, um, should be interested to follow the developments from that. Uh, big shout out to the team at Poulton's Park, they're brilliant. Um, and of course, like I said, Alton Towers uh, with World David Williams next year. That's going to be another interesting trip as well. So uh, big stuff hopefully to come on the channel if it all goes through next year. Uh, a lot of trips planned. Obviously, Halloween's going to be big again on the channel. York Mace Hallows Scream, they've got their 10th anniversary next year. So that's going to be a big trip. Uh, obviously, Alton Towers Scarefest is an event that I've wanted to do for years. Last time I did it was 2011. I didn't do any of the scare mazes, uh, but that was around the time of Carnival Screams. Boiler House, Terror of the Towers, What Lies Within, Zombie Scare Zone. Uh, so I've got a lot of things to do at Old Tower Scare Fest when I go back to that event. Uh, and I didn't get the chance to do it last uh, this year. So, um, you know, I keep saying last year like it's last season. It's still this year, but it's the end of the season because I keep thinking it's last season. Uh, but no, I did get the chance to do this year's Scare Fest at the end of last season. But, you know, it's an, it's an event that I've wanted to do for a while. Um, so I think the 2020 season is going to be massive on the channel and I think the 2020 season is going to be big all around the world for coasters, new rising attractions and stuff like that so I'm very excited to follow the developments here on the channel I hope you guys are really excited as well hope you like the brand new uh, Woodland <laughs> banner um, I'm hopefully wanting to try and get that made into a designer hoodie I don't know uh, but make it look a bit more modern and stuff like that but see what you guys think in the comments down below if you look at the banner on the um, on the channel bit but thank you very much for watching this theme park news update on Thought Park's opening dates and times stay tuned for another video today uh, from the Thought Park season past 2020 uh, make sure you stay for choose some more videos over the next few days throughout the week uh, from Skyline Attractions, Sock and Yemi, Chessington World of Adventures uh, Universal Halloween Horror Nights details and dates uh, so that should be really exciting to cover. But thank you very much. My name is Coast Chow. Keep on the coaster life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.